Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I am back. Yes, the break is over. And we're back doing more live streams. I am back doing uh, more live stream videos, doing more main channel videos, doing more Ranger Ray, doing more vocal tunes. I got a lot going on. But it's been good. It's been good. <laughs> Kayla, here comes the boy. <laughs> nice. Welcome back, Brian. Hope you had a good break. Thank you, David. Yes, I did. It was very relaxing, which I greatly appreciate. And you're not muted. Wow. I know. It's amazing. I know. Um, I actually had a break in my day, so I'm like, I'm going to make sure everything is working before we start the stream. And yeah, everything was good. Had no big issues. Of course, the time when I check and I'm like, okay, I have time for big issues. Bring them on. There's no big issues. And then times when I don't have time to check on big issues, I have the big issues. Such is life, right? Love the recent cover on vocal tunes. Thank you. I, that was always one of my favorite songs by uh, Josh Groban. So I was happy to uh, do that song. But I know uh, I know a lot of people want me to do more Disney songs. And you people will be very excited. Not this Saturday, but the Saturday afterwards. Oh, my goodness. I hope you had a good Halloween. I did. I did. I had a really good Halloween. Um, it was fine. Yes. But now we've got some banjo chewy to play. Ha 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 ha. So let's do it. We've got to go unlock the next world, which, spoiler alert. Well, it's not really much of a spoiler. You saw the thumbnail. Is Jolly Rogers Lagoon. It's the water level. So you guys know I'm really excited to do that part. Yay. <laughs> but I will say this. they It's not the most infuriating water world I've ever done. Well, I say that. I also haven't played this game in a while, so who knows? My opinion may have changed. I hope not. I like the way they do this puzzle. It actually makes it slightly a challenge. Not a lot of a challenge, but enough. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy Challenge 4. So now the great one will show you the way. I wanted to really clear up that voice. Will I ever do a cover of Misty Mountains from Hobbit Lord of the Rings for vocal tunes? I'm down for that. I love that song. That is definitely something I would consider. The power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. And here we go to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. To ye Lagoon. I don't know why that sounded like Captain Barbosa and Mater Frankenvoice, <laughs> but it did. Logan, thank you. Uh, do you know the Josh Groban song Broken Vow? Yes, I do. It's a beautiful song. You are indeed the chosen one. Oh, we can go and do the next one. You also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 5. I think that's Pterodactyl Land, the dinosaur level. Heck, yeah, let's go ahead and unlock that. We're still going to go do Jolly Rogers Lagoon, but if it gets to be annoying, we can go do dinosaurs. <laughs> I like just having the option. It is totally, totally Pterodactyl Land. I love Pterodactyl Land. But I'm not biased at all. It only has dinosaurs in it. Why would I be biased about that? <laughs> I would never. Oh. There we go. One over. And... There. Woo. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 5. So now the Great One will show you the way. Who's Terry Dactyl? You'll see. Uh, Liam, thank you. Question for you since Lion King is your favorite Disney film. What's your favorite DreamWorks film? <laughs> I don't know. There are so many good ones. Um, Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. 
I go back and forth because I love Prince of Egypt, but then I also find myself watching Kung Fu Panda more than any of the other DreamWorks movies. But then, How to Train Your Dragon Doe. It comes down between those three. I don't know if it's How to Train Your Dragon, Kung Fu Panda, or Prince of Egypt. Those three, I just adore. You are a d Oh, I can do the next one. <laughs> you also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 6. Ah, sure, why not? We're here. Oh, I have one, one more than I need for that. Oh, Grunty's Industries. Yeah, I can wait for that one. That's like my least favorite level. But, you know, it's still not a bad level in and of itself. It's just my least favorite of these levels. Doesn't mean it's bad. Just means I prefer the other levels to it. It's just really easy to get lost in there. Oh, one up. There we go. Oh, really messed that one up, Brian. Come on. There we go. Ha! Ah. Booyah! You have completed Chicky Wiggy's Challenge 6. So now the Great One will show you the way. I can only uh, just barely enter Grunny Industries before getting too frustrated. Is it bad as Rusty Bucket Bay? Um, I guess it depends. Uh, I guess it depends on what bothered you about Rusty Bucket Bay. Um, my main issue with Grunty Industries is just it's easy to get lost in. Uh, that's my biggest issue with it is that every floor looks the same and it's kind of hard to remember where everything is That's my biggest gripe with it Like I don't, I don't remember there being any challenge that was stupidly hard like the bottom of rusty bucket bay With the uh, jumping on all the moving platforms that was a pain in the butt But I don't remember anything being that difficult You do not have enough chickies to attempt challenge seven Come back later when you do yeah, we got a lot. Uh, will I ever do Kingdom Hearts impressions? Absolutely. That is one of the ones I want to do. I'm trying to wait until the uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 gets like closer to release date. That's what I'd like to do. But I'm starting to get a little impatient, and I might end up doing that before... Um, I think we go through... Actually, I think we go through the plateau to get there. Gotta remind myself. Um, I gotta remember. Um, but I 100% want to do that. Oh, yeah, I think it is this way. Because, yeah, then now we have this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the split them up. Okay, so yes, I totally want to do Kingdom Hearts impressions, and I want it to happen a little closer to Kingdom Hearts 4 release date, but as people have told me, it, I could be waiting a long time for that. So, I might need to go ahead and just bite the bullet and do it. Because who knows how long that'll be. There we go. I think that brings us over here. Oh. What's up here? I don't remember this. Ah! Oh, we're not getting that, but we don't need to. Kingdom Hearts 4 will be epic. Yes! I'm excited for it. It might help if I had a globo. Is it upstairs? Hello? Globo. No. So I can't get, get him.
Uh, there's a lot of Mayan and Aztec inspiration in the Banjo games. There's definitely, definitely some. Oh my gosh, there's a fly in here. No! Do not bother me, fly! I cannot stand the fly. Wait, did I just go in a full circle? No, I didn't. I probably should have gotten that other move first. Hang on, let me go back and get it. How's my break? It was good! It was a good break. Very much enjoyed it. But yeah, I don't have... Well, I was about to say, I don't have any big... Um, uh, big trips coming up soon. I'm like, well, that's not true. Holidays. So... We got a couple more... Got a couple more weeks till I gotta leave again. <laughs> But this time it's for holiday season. For Thanksgiving, and then I'll do it again for Christmas. But such is life, you know. I forgot what this one is. Oh! Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. Oh, why? <laughs> we got a really big view of that. No, we don't want to fall backwards. That'll be all. Dismissed. Okay. Did I literally just say, we don't want to fall off this? And then I accidentally... <laughs> oh, well. Can't believe I did that. I even just said, "Oh, better not do that." Oh, I went and did it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang it! Cause then you had one job. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, we're gonna go back because I think there was a button I need to go press. Oh my gosh! <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That could not have been timed better. It's like, oh, we don't want to fall off that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Too bad Kazooie couldn't just use her wings. She was lazy and betrayed Banjo. No! <laughs> She can only fly with a fly pad, which I think is kind of weird in, like, the lore of the world. But I get it from a gameplay perspective. So I get why they couldn't do that for gameplay, but it still feels weird. Thanks for teaching us what not to do by example. <laughs> Banjo plunging to his death. Logan, I'm sorry, Brian. That was just too funny. No, it's okay. I laughed too. Oh, I messed up there. That was my fault. OMG, I'm just now picturing Banjo Kazooie doing the high ground speech from Star Wars. It's over, Banjo. I have the. Uh, no, it'd be Banjo. It's over, Kazooie. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, that's over there. All right, cool. So yeah, let's do this thing. Oh yeah, I forget what's down here. There is a staircase. Oh, yeah, and I think this makes the bridge pop up. I go over there and go get some uh, go get some notes. I need to see Brian's epic fall again after the stream. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have paused in the middle of it because I don't think it's gonna be quite as satisfying. <laughs> I realized in hindsight, I was like, I shouldn't have paused, but I was kind of just shocked that I did it. Oh, I hit a globo.
Oh yeah, I think it's on the roof. And yeah, there it is. So that's for Mumbo, but there's really no need for me to go give it to Mumbo now as the thing I need him for, I can't do yet. If that makes sense. There we go. And welcome to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. This is a doubloon. They're the only currency accepted in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. People just be leaving doubloons all over the place. How was my week off? It was very good, very relaxing, which is what I wanted. I forgot what that was for. I think it's to get on top of this roof. What was it for? Oh, wait. Hmm. There was a trick to that. I don't remember now. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Oh, I remember what it is now. Okay, never mind. I remember now. I won't spoil it for those who don't know. Alright. Ginger beer. So let's be real here, y'all. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. This is going to shock some of y'all. I never even heard of ginger beer nor taste never not, not even not tasted it never heard of it until literally like two years ago and i now i'm realizing it was in one of my favorite games as a kid and i never picked up what that meant i didn't know there was a real drink i thought they made it up for the game <laughs> and now i have tried it and i'm gonna be real i think it's gross so I'm sorry if you're a big ginger beer fan. I am not, but more power to you. Oh, hello there. I'm Jelly Roger, town mayor and proprietor of this lovely Harborside Inn. We'd like a ginger beer, please. I'd love to oblige, but I'm less than jolly at the moment, as my partner's gone missing. That's a shame. Now, how about that drink? Kazooie? Sorry, where did you last see her? She was out on a wave racer earlier yesterday evening. I heard a big gulping noise, and when I got outside, she was gone. Perhaps she was eaten by a vicious sea demon? Oh, I hope not. It's a happy hour soon, and I'll be needing some help. Would you like to rent a room? It's half price at two doubloons as this naughty mole has dug a hole in the corner of it. How about it? Yeah, I think I've got enough for that. Okay, big boy, show me the money. Lovely, I'll just open the door for you, okay? There we go. Cheers, but how can you possibly sleep while my partner is still missing? Uh, it's less about sleeping and more about me getting to move in here. When in the water in Brandy's tank, this new move will let you would shoot back. Press Y for the aiming sight, followed by L trigger or right trigger to start a fight. I got really off there. That'll be all. Dismissed. All right. Um, never had ginger beer, but had ginger ale once. Helped nausea. Oh, ginger ale is awesome for that. I love ginger ale. Let me be real here. Every time I fly on a plane, I don't really get motion sickness, but I got queasy on an airplane once. And after that, I just prefer to always uh, have ginger ale. I'm afraid a jukebox is broken at the moment. A real pity. I just love dancing to the salty 
would seem enchanty. Perhaps you'll find the way to fix it. There is a way to fix it. I don't remember how. Avast there, ye scurvy dogs! I be Captain Black Eye, fearless pirate, and scourge of the seas. You're looking a tad wobbly there, Blackie. Just a touch of seasickness, you filthy rats. Seasick, some pirate you are! Watch your tongue, buzzard. <laughs> I like him. He doesn't do much, but I like him. Hence why he made it in the thumbnail. Oh, and I love that. They put they put a picture of Treasure Trove Cove in here to remind you of the original game. Try to remember. I thought there was something in here. Uh, maybe that's later. All right. Logan, thank you. Speaking of funny, the other day, a co-worker of mine brought... Uh, brought up Einstein in the conversation and then being totally serious they said I don't even know what Einstein's last name was I'm not joking he legit did not know that Einstein's last name was Einstein <laughs> oh my goodness oh that's so sad but so funny at the same time <laughs> hang on I think I go around here and just start going to go collect some doubloons I'm disconnected from the Xbox Live. Okay, I'm not playing on the internet. So I don't need it. Yeah. Hang on. Boop. That's hilarious though, Logan. Oh. I know. I love grenades. Oh, okay. Here we go. Boop. Uh oh. Come on. And. Oh, wait. There we go. I had to come with just Kazooie. Did I go down the chimneys? I don't even remember. Nope. At least not that one. Oh, I forgot about these pigs. <laughs> Be ready for the pigs. Help us sort our pool out, little bird. What's wrong with it? Looks fine to me. We want to go swimming, but the water is polluted and icy cold. Oh, well, this one may take some time. It's really this pig. This poor pig has been swimming in this polluted water and grew a third arm. And he's just totally chill about it. Like, eh, whatever. Please fix the pool. Piggies pushed me in the other week. And look what's happened to me, to my arm. Well, I didn't want to say anything. Thanks. I'm a little touchy about it, as you might expect. Frico! <laughs> of course. You're so kind, Kazooie. Okay. Little piggy needs to stop smoking. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, there's this whole thing in here I almost forgot about. You've lost the safety the banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them around by pressing X. A useful attack, I think you'll agree. That didn't rhyme. That'll be all. Dismissed. 
Oh, there he goes. I was waiting for that. <laughs> yes. I love it. Okay. I thought this is where we learned. I guess it's over there. All right, let's go get Banjo back for a little bit. Wait, was the attack originally supposed to go with the B button in the N64 version? I don't remember, to be totally honest. I've not played the N64 version in a while, so I am not positive where that one was supposed to be. And it's good. Whoosh. Yeah. But I know that they did switch all the buttons and stuff to fit the Xbox controller. Because, you know, that would be hard to play the game if that were the case. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem, Tip Top? It's my baby. He's about 32 weeks late. Can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. I was about to say, I think there are some reptiles who at least will stick by it and like use their body heat to keep it warm. But not quite the same as a bird. Dipped up from Diddy Kong Racing? Yeah! Do you remember Banjo was in Diddy Kong Racing too? Not Kazooie, but Banjo-wise. Do I have a thing in here? No. I want to figure out where the... I know I have a Globo, but I know that's the one I got in the... Uh, I want to get the one that's... Uh... Oh, wait. Wrong way. I want to get the one that's from Jolly Roger Lagoon. Raphael, thank you. Comedy question. Funniest movie you have ever seen. Funniest movie. I will say this. Um, I guess it's not technically a comedy. And I might have just been the perfect age for it when it came out. But when Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs came out, I laughed my head off at almost everything. Like... I even went with a bunch of friends who were about my age. We were all, you know, probably high school. And we all just sat in the car and just laughed for 20 minutes straight after that. We just thought this was the greatest thing ever. And I just remember being in tears, just waiting with my friends after that as we just sat in the car and laughed. It was one of the funniest times I've ever had in a theater. And the whole theater just couldn't stop laughing. Which I know now, Cloudy with Chance Meatballs just gets like, eh, it's fine. But I love it. I love Cloudy with Chance Meatballs. I forgot what this does. Oh yeah, this turns off the toxic waste. Thanks, giant teddy bear. Now our water is crystal clear. But I remember, y'all can't get in it because it's still cold. I think that's what it is, right? I think that's it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so we did that part. Get some more gold doubloons, because if I remember correctly, we gotta get a lot of doubloons for one thing. Did I ever watch Flora and Ulysses? Nope, I have never seen it. I remember y'all telling me about it though. The one with the the Disney Plus show with the squirrel. Hey, Brian, is Chris P. Bacon in the Banjo games? Actually, yeah, but 
You'll see in a little bit. There is actually a crispy bacon. I'm not even making this up. Oi there. It be your old shipmate, Captain Blubber. How are ye going, me hearties? Bit of a hard day, really. Aye, these adventures are all the same. So many places to go and things to find. Beats dinner, Rambo. How's business, Blubber Guts? Not good, lad, lovers. All me way racers are shipwrecked, and the last one was eaten by a fish yesterday. Perhaps we can lend you a doubloon or two? Nah, shipmates, but I will sell ye me last possession for just one doubloon. How about it, me hearties? Do you want me last possession for, for one doubloon? I forgot what his last possession is. I hope it's something good. Arr, ye's a good banjo. Have a look inside this here crate. Thanks, shipmates. I'll be off to Jolly's for their quiz night. There'll be 1,000 doubloons up for grabs, and if I win, I'll be having me a fine new flying machine. If they ever make a Banjo 3, I want to see him in a flying machine. Uh, Logan, thank you. This contact represents you, and my eye represents my eye. I got my eye on you. Oh my goodness, a jaywalker. Hey! <laughs> that was amazing. I started playing these ba these games thanks to your stream. Just finished Banjo-Kazooie and currently on Witchy World uh, in Banjo-Tooie. Nice! So, hey, you're not far from where we are. So hopefully these can help. Uh... Oh. Hopefully this help point you in the right direction on a couple things. Or maybe show you what not to do. Okay. Okay, that was a real Jinjo, not a Minjo. I thought there was more up here. Nope. Okay, cool. And I think this is yes. If I remember correctly. That was the main reason I needed it, I thought. I can go ahead and go over here and get these doubloons. Yeah, I gotta get used to the swimming in this level as we will be doing a lot of it later. I forget how many I need to do the thing. I should probably go figure out. Oh yeah, I forgot this game has the fake Jinjos. They suck. Yes, they do. I hate the fake Jinjos. The Minjos. Wait, there's not a way I can change. Can I change the controls? Oh, wait. Is there just... Hmm. I can't change anything though, can I? Like the settings. Uh. Hang on, let's try that. I don't know if that'll do what I want. Let's see. Oh, it did! Oh, it did! Oh, that was so helpful. Oh. Now, let's see. Does that mess up the rest of the gameplay, though? I don't know. The rest of it feels fine. <gasps> we did it. I can swim again. <laughs> That's so much better. Me. Me. So... Good news for anybody who was trying to play the game and had the same issue I did. Ah, oh, there's the Globo. Well, that's not really what I meant to do. Come on. 
I can't break that, can I? That's all right. I want these notes anyway. Ginger ale, an underrated drink. 100%. I love ginger ale. Tis delicious. Greetings, friend. My name's Pono. I don't like that voice. I'm the local pun owner. We're interested in that jiggy in the case. Ah, uh, yes, a real nice piece. Terica Banjo Kazooie. So I was told. I reckon 20 gold doubloons would be a fair price. 20 doubloons? We only want the jiggy. Not your whole shop. Well, they're gonna have enough for it. Let's do it. It's still, it's still, <clears throat> it's still 20 doubloons for the jiggy. Would you like to buy it? What do you say? Right, friend. Let's see some gold. A pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. <laughs> I just love how just he does not care. We got our first jiggy in, uh, uh, ru uh, I almost said Rusty Bucket Bay. No, this is Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Not the same thing. Didn't I hear a Jinjo in here? No, I heard a Globo. That's what it was. He sounds like an Evo teen who works at the register in a small business. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Brian, are you excited for the Dreamlight Valley update? I know I am too. Yes, I didn't get to see it till after I got off the ship, but that I am, I'm a little disappointed that they have officially said now that they are no longer giving a free version of the game. It's just going to be paid forever, even though it's about to get out of early access next month. Um, so part of me is really excited uh, to have all these things, and then the new update... I'm kind of sad that you have to pay for the whole thing, but it does look really cool. And they said it's going to like double the size of the game. So I'm like, all right, I, I, I kind of get it, but I'm definitely going to get it. Welcome again, Bat and Bird. We've got a Globo. Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw in Mumbo's back. Wait, there's another update? Oh, yeah, Kayla, you must have missed it. There was a whole, like, a uh, presentation and a live stream that talked about all the new stuff coming to Disney Dreamlight Valley. It was intense, y'all. Like, if you didn't go check it out, go check it out. Especially if you're a big fan of the game. You totally need to go check it out. Because it's there, it's not a small update. Like, you're going to get a small update, then it's going to be huge. Hope this works. Logan, thank you. See, uh, speaking of things that suck, the Yiga clan sucks in Tears of the Kingdom. I keep going to help people, and they're like, Thank you for wanting to help me. Now you die. And I'm like, Dang it, I hate you so much. I know, right? Oh, that's crazy. You heard multiplayer is coming to Disney Dream My Valley? That's right. That's one of the things coming with the big update. Bumbo shine big light on water. It now has plenty oxygen. Bear and bird not need to hold breath in there now. Which that's great and all, but I don't understand how sun brings oxygen. <laughs> the sun doesn't bring oxygen. It brings vitamin D. <laughs> the things that give us oxygen are plants. Well, I guess if, oh, I guess if you were shining the light on the water... And there's a lot of plankton. The plankton would then uh, release oxygen. Okay. I I could see that. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> yes, they are adding... Uh, I'm trying to think of all the stuff they're adding to Disney Dreamlight Valley. It is so much, y'all. So they're about to release like a whole new... DLC. Oh, they're well, because the whole thing is they're about to get out of early access. Then once they do that, it's just going to completely 
change everything and we're going to get update 1.0 which will be the full main game in its entirety and then we'll have um oh hang on oh, i thought you were one of the ones with notes but that's okay hang on yeah. Mumbo, why couldn't you do that in the first game? There we go. Joey, thank you. Uh, Brian, I'm starting to suffer from a deep depression. Your videos are the only ones that make me laugh. Oh my gosh, please continue to come from me as I go through this difficult time. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that, Joey, but I'm glad I can be of some comfort. But I do hope that you are uh, getting some additional help, not just watching my videos, but getting some help uh, through your own support group, uh, whether that be through close friends and family members or professional help. That's extremely important in these tough times. And I know that during my depressions, if I didn't have my support group and my professional help, uh, it, it would have been really bad. So I hope that you are doing these things to take care of yourself. Dark Tremora, now breathe underwater with the power of Sunny D. <laughs> I could totally see that being a commercial in the 90s. So water is breathable. What is this, Ponyo? <laughs> if I remember correctly... I think I freeze you, right? I've hit your head. Let me get a little closer. Oh, I thought that's what I did. Maybe I don't. Oh, there it is. I never noticed the blue rings on it before, so I think they're trying to say that's a blue ring octopus. Which are super deadly. Does anyone know if you need to pay for the expansion in Moonstones? You do not need to pay for them in Moonstones. You pay for them in real life dollars. Um, so it'll be like it'll be like a typical DLC for like a normal video game. It won't be sold through like the the little shop. It'll be like if you guys did like the DLC for Pokemon, any of those. It'll be similar to that. Um, my biggest issue with it is not the fact they're paying for it. It, it, it is kind of weird that the DLC costs almost the same price as the base game. That part feels a little weird to me, but at the same time, they did said that the map you're getting is basically the exact same size as the main map we have here, just less biomes, but it's like the same square footage. So I, I kind of get it. And I'm also kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. Speaking of Pokemon DLC, Indigo Disc comes out December 14th. Oh, do we have a date for that now? Awesome. Oh, wait, that's the way I came. I thought there was another way. I could go check some stuff out. Would you happen to know what the biggest octopus is? Thank you, Logan. I'm pretty sure it's the giant Pacific octopus. I believe that's the biggest one. I know there are squids bigger, but squids aren't octopus. And I believe the biggest squid is the colossal squid. 
which if memory serves, we've only had a couple picture of, a couple pictures of, but have never actually seen um, living. If I remember correctly. Let's see here. Oh, I forgot about the eels. Which just doesn't make any sense. There are no electric eels in the ocean. They're only in fresh water. And they don't look like that. Remember one of these. Yeah, there it is. It's like I thought one of these was alive. Think you're right about the octopus? Ooh, maybe. I will admit, my cephalopod knowledge is not as good as my land-dwelling mammalian knowledge. Mammals I know the best. I'm not bad with cephalopods and some invertebrates, but... I'm not unknowledgeable. I'm just not as knowledgeable. I need more grenades for sure. That's right, Brian. You tell the game where they're wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they don't care. This is not trying to be a realistic interpretation of wildlife. Because, I mean, we have a bear running around with a pair of shorts with a bird in its backpack. With somehow the strength to make this bear fly. I don't think they're going for animal accuracy with this. But it's still fun. It's a fun educational moment. Unless y'all don't want any education on it, which I totally understand, and then I'll shut up. Because I have learned I will sometimes throw in um, facts and education in places that nobody wants them. Which is fair, because I know I've had people do the same thing to me. Like, I'm like I don't want to know about this. Quit telling me about it. So I get it. It definitely happens. So I want to be um, aware and knowledgeable. Suspend your disbelief. That's fine. I'm cool doing it. This is the creepiest, edgiest place in the game, and I love it. <laughs> it is pretty nice. I think, yeah, I think I'm full on everything now. Oh, no, I needed more ice. Glad I got it. Got that. Oh, yeah, this guy. He looks scary, but he's actually not bad at all. I remember this took me forever when I was a kid to figure out what to do. I just could not figure it out for the life of me. I get it now. But man, when I was a kid, I just sat there and looked at this thing going, this giant fish, dude, I have to do something with him. There's got to be something. And I just could not figure it out. But now I know. You got to shoot his teeth out. Only grenades will do. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay, got that one. Hurt myself in the process, but we got it. There's one left. I looked it up, and you're right. The giant Pacific octopus? Yes! I am not... I know cephalopods, sort of. He's not that bad at all. Proceeds to blow its teeth out. <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna hurt me, is what I mean to say. Oh, gotta go this way. He turned around. I thought he wasn't going this way. That's violent, my guy. I know, but that's what the game makes me do. But it, it gives me solace to know that it took me forever to figure out this is what we had to do when I was a kid, because violence was not my first reaction. <laughs> Glad to see I'm not the only one who saw the irony of what Brian did. I didn't realize that's what it did until y'all told me, but that's very true. Because I was scared to go in here when I was a kid because I thought a second I touched the water, he was going to be like Snacker from the first game, the shark, and just always come after me and try to eat me. It turns out, no, he just needs to have some dental work. Oh, I totally got that. No, it's not. 
It's okay, Brian. Sometimes I don't realize what I say either. Oh, I know we all have those moments. But that's also what kind of makes them funny. Come here. I'm gonna get your tooth. Come on. I got your fin. How do you hit the fish teeth out for no reason? No, there's a reason. The game makes you. <laughs> there we go. And now, you swim. Let me turn around. There we go. Yeah, so now he opens up his mouth. You can swim inside. Knowing rare violence is always the best way to do things. They do like violence. This is very much a throwback to Clanker. <laughs> Where's the... Jinjo, are you this way? Or are you a Minjo? You sounded louder back there. Oh, you are a Jinjo. Logan, thank you. Imagine if Dory and Marlin use grenades against the angler fish in Finding Nemo. Oh, that'd be a whole different movie. Instead of Finding Dory, you'd be Hunt for Red Dory instead of... Or Hunt for Red October, but Dory... Oh, there you are. Oh, you must be the rescue party. Only if the price is right. I'm Mary Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on one of Blubber's wave racers when this fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now, so you don't have to stay in here. That's lovely. Oh, it'll be so... It'll soon be happy hour at the inn, and Jolly will need someone bringing relief. Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. And off she goes. This is the grossest thing in the game. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there is more gross stuff. It's not just this. That's another thing Rare always enjoyed with making games. Make things violent, make things gross. Which is why kids loved it. <laughs> Take that. Don't forget, Banjo's goldfish can give you extra bu bubbles and teach you how to swim faster. That's right. That's a good point. You know what? We might need to go take a break. Go do that real quick just so I can swim faster in this level. Because I thought things were feeling slow. I forgot he taught you that. So, yeah. Let's, we're going to take a break from this real quick and go do that. So that way we can make the other swimming parts easier. How are the insides of that big angler fish beyond gigantic? I don't know. I don't think they were thinking of uh, continuity when they did that. Ah! Good golly, Molly. And hippity hop. Wait, yeah, Jinjo Village is where I want to go. Is Banjo Kazooie's Rare's best game? I have not played all of Rare's games. I've played a few of them, but definitely not all of them. It is my favorite of their games that I have played. But I don't think I can speak and say it's like the best one ever, because frankly, I don't know. Oh, I forgot about this. There's a thingy over here. Yeah, I always forget there's there's a bunch of jiggies in just the main hub world. And I forget to double check where those are all the time, which is not good because then eventually we're gonna we're gonna 100% this game. I see to remember. 
where they all are, which I don't. You should. Oh. I don't remember. Is it this? It's ice. <laughs> what do I do with you guys? I don't remember this. Hello? Anything up here? No? Okay. There we go, let's go this way. I'm loving the Wish soundtrack so far. I feel like I'm going to have all the songs memorized before the movie. Because I can't stop listening to the first couple songs YouTube released. I, it, the songs are giving me hope. I'm still not totally sold on it. But then again, I not, I'm going to go see the movie. I'm going to go see the movie no matter what. But um, I'm really hoping that this is going to be good. I really am. And so far, the more I see of it, the more hopeful I get. And I hope that that actually works out. Oh, that's so much better. Shouldn't you be in the water now where it's safer? You're right. I'll probably dry up and die if I don't get back to the moat around the spiral mountain soon. I suppose you'll be wanting a carry then? Well, I'd walk there myself. But we goldfish are a little disadvantaged in the leg department. Yeah, I think I actually have to have the carry thing for that. Wait, can, do I? Can I just... Oh, do I just pick him up? Good. I thought I had to learn the move to where Banjo could carry him. Thanks, guys. Perhaps these extra bubbles may be of some use. Bubbles! We want at least a Jiggy for that! Sorry, I'm all out of those. However, I'll also teach you how to swim faster. Simply press A and X together. Cheerio! Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know why when he said Cheerio, it reminded me of Cheeto. And Cheeto's up here. So let's go talk to Cheeto while we're here. Sounds like poo mixed with Mickey. I didn't realize at first, but I totally had some poo in there. I had some Winnie the Pooh. Will I watch The Wish Brian? Oh, absolutely. I'm 100% going to watch it. Totally. My thing is, I just really want to be excited for Disney animation again. And I know they're going to come back. It's just a matter of when. Um, Just, I've been really disappointed with their last few few movies and because of that I'm hesitant to get my hopes up uh, just because you know I'm tired of like going oh this movie's gonna be amazing and then I get there and I'm like eh. at best it's okay you know I'm tired of doing that I want something that's gonna be fantastic and amazing again and they'll get there hello again Banjo remember me I am Cheeto, the magical spell book. Yeah, yeah, we know who you are. Just hand over something useful. You're out of luck there. I'm afraid. Grunty ripped out all my pages because I helped you in the last game. I'd be most grateful if you could look out for them on your travels. Maybe. What's in it for us? Well, for every five pages you return, I'll let you in on a little secret. You mean a cheat? Well, I'm not called Cheeto for nothing. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time! Spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My first cheat is feathers. Got it? Here's a small clue as to how to activate the cheat. Mayhem Temple Code Chamber Letters. Got it? Oh, still don't understand. Went a little goofy there. I know, Banjo. Come on, let's go use that cheat. This is a menu of the codes I have told you. All right. 
So if I remember correctly, yeah, there's a place in Mayhem Temple where you can go, like, input the codes. Oh, I need more grenades, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. Cheeto sounds like a wizard. I mean, he kind of is. All right, so let's go back. We can now... Oh, wait, what's up here? Now I want to know. I want to know. Can you show me what is inside this cave-like thing here? Cheeto, is there a guy named Dorito in this game? <laughs> You're funny. I almost wanted to pull a, um, oh gosh, Tears of the Kingdom and start swimming up the thing, but that's not a thing. Oh yeah, this is nothing, I think. I don't know now. Oh well. Am I also going to see the Marvels? I probably will. But I will say this, I am getting really tired of Marvel. But I still want to give Marvel, like, I don't want to just write off Marvel altogether. Just, I'm finding out really quickly, I still like most of their movies that are coming out. But I'm just not feeling a lot of the shows. So the Disney Plus stuff I might start, you know, just looking up a recap of if I really just want to know what's going on. You know what I mean? Because I haven't... I still can't bring myself to start the second season of Loki just because of how much I've been disappointed by some of the other stuff. But then again, who knows? I might need to give it a shot because people have been telling me it's actually good. So I might go give it a shot. Isla Hag sounds like a nice place. <laughs> oh, isn't it though? I thought Cheeto sounded like a lower-pitched wacko. <laughs> I now that you say that, I can see it. <laughs> I heard Loki is the best Marvel show. I will say this: I loved the first season of Loki. I will admit they started to lose me at the end when they went super multiverse. Because I, I, I'm just gonna be real here: I'm not feeling the multiverse thing. I feel like the multiverse is kind of going a little far. Which I know the whole thing is about multiverses, but. I don't know. I guess it's the whole thing with the Watcher where I'm kind of like, I, 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 I don't know if I can get into that. I'm trying to, but I don't know. But, you know, we shall see. Oh, I probably should have just warped there, but eh, whatever. Already did it. I like the new season, but don't love it. I feel like Marvel's version of everything. I feel like it's Marvel's version of everything everywhere all at once, which makes sense. Which, if it's done well, it can be awesome. But once again, it's got to be done well. Okay, where's the other direction? Because I feel like there's two things, two places I can go through here. And I've got to learn that underwater kazooie move before I go do all these things. I think it's this way. Let's see. Oh, wait. I didn't go to Jolly Rogers to go get this jiggy. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. I haven't been using the faster swimming we got taught. That's probably important that I start using that. That was the whole reason we stopped. Oh, yeah. I, where is this move? Please be here. Maybe not. Oh, wait. What? I forgot about that, Jiggy. Wait, 
Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, so stuff's coming back to me. I thought there was a way that I could get in here. Oh, yeah, and then I gotta do the thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've gotta learn that move. Okay. I don't remember where this move is. Oh, wait, I was going through that one building, wasn't I? And then I stopped halfway through. So we should probably go back to that. I gotta find where my entrance was. Oh, there it is. This is Brian in his natural habitat. In the water or playing Banjo Tooie? <laughs> or both. I do, I do love water. When I was a kid, I was always that kid if there was a pool present. I was going to be in it. I don't care how cold it was. Well, within reason, of course. Like, everyone's like, oh, it's a little chilly. We'll try it again in a little bit when we're when we're hot. I'm like, nope, put me in it now. And I just sit in it for hours. I'm that guy um, at the beach. You know, you see all of your friends, like, hanging out, like, on, in the, on the beach and just sun tanning or chilling. And there's always that one guy who's just like, I'm always in the water. I'm that guy. Because in my defense, it gets hot. And I'm already hot, like, all the time. So I'd prefer, you know, have some time when I'm not hot. Okay, all right, I hear you. Yeah, I don't think I finished this, did I? The seaweed sank them. Oh, you changed on me. Last time it was you. Oh. Or maybe they all do it at some point. Wait. I th did we do this? I think we finished it. No, I don't know. Well, we're going to double check just to make sure. You're also that guy? I'm glad I'm not alone. Banjo is one invincible bear to survive a blue ringed octopus attack. You're not wrong. Oh, yeah, then I went in here. Oh, yeah, we didn't do. Oh, yeah, then we did this. Oh, yeah. Brian, come on. See, it's easy to get turned around in some of these places. Yeah, let's go uh, warp out of here. And go get the Jiggy from Jolly Roger. Since we're catching up uh, to the MCU timeline... I recommend everyone watching WandaVision again because this week is when the show actually takes place. Oh. Thanks for rescuing me from the bile infested innards of that ferocious sea monster. Actually, it was just a very large fish. It seemed like a monster to me. All right. Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it! No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a, t a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Well, perhaps later? Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. The Jiggy! I'm trying to remember, because right now I feel like I had a dream once. Ah, he had a dream once because the base game was dream. I remember that. So those guys actually didn't know the joke, the original Banjo-Kazooie originally started as a game called Dream, and this guy was supposed to be the bad guy. So 
That was a reference to that. Shiver me timbers. These seasick tablets Jolly gave me are a mighty useless. Let's see. I understood that reference. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I gotta. Hang on. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, view totals. I think it'll tell me. Okay, so there's still one more move to learn here. And there's. Yeah, Wamba's supposed to be here too. Let's go back to Atlantis and figure out what we're doing. Why does he look like King K. Rule? I mean. Rare did make. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, which I think. Was that the first appearance of King K. Rule? I don't know. But he also did the Donkey Kong Country games. Oh, hang on. I'm trying to do a thing. Good gravy. I think I need to shoot an egg into every one of their baskets. Oh wait, wrong one, I think. Oh, I think I have to go in an order. Okay, blowfish, go get a life. Okay, blowfish. Get a life. Preferably away from me. There. Now I'm all thrown off and I don't remember who I was trying to put the... Trying to get the egg into. There's a code on the temple door. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is a, it's a three triangle, three, three, pi sign, horseshoe. I think that's Omega. I know that's pi and Omega, and I don't know what the other ones are. It's all Greek. It's all Greek to me. All right, so it's three triangle, three, three, pi, horseshoe. Okay. So we did. So we did a three. Let's find the triangle. Then two threes. And then. Got the pie sign. Yeah. And then Omega. Yay! I think the triangle is Delta? Maybe. I believe that. Sounds right to me. Does that actually spell something in Greek? That's a good question. I don't know. It probably does. Wait, is this... Oh, it's this level. Okay. If you guys have ever played this game, you know why this level is not this is not going to be fun. Oh, 
Hello there. Oh, hi. I'm Chris. Chris, not very pig-like if you ask me. Actually, it's Chris P. Bacon. Oh, I see. What are you doing, Mr. Bacon? I'm on vacation, trying to photo photograph these lovely paintings on the wall down there. Sounds fascinating. Oh, it is. But these awful fish keep attacking me. Why not get a spear gun? This camera was too expensive. I had no doubloons left. Perhaps you could protect me while I'm down there instead? We'll give it a shot. Right then, if you could just follow me down to the bottom. No. Go down. Hope you're ready. Cause here they come. Oh, I think there's one. No, there's one on that side. Oh, crud. I was in the wrong corner because I couldn't see the one over there. It was on the other side of the pig. That nipper really hurt. Please try harder next time. You want to try again? Yeah. Right then. If you could just follow me down to the bottom. Okay. He's not even in danger. He's just inconvenienced by these fish. It's true, though. It's not what I want it, but that's okay. Hope you're ready, because here they come. Oh, I hit that. You can't tell me I didn't. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to do it. It's better to be in a corner, but higher up. Okay, so we'll try that. We'll be in a corner, but higher up. Not a lot higher, but we'll be higher up. Okay. Okay. Nope. Got it. Luckily, they've got a pretty big hitbox. Uh oh. I'm out of eggs. Alright, I should have gotten more before we started. No, I'm trying to get eggs. All right. At least while you're on the floor, you don't have to aim vertically. That's true. Okay. Dang it. Well, I ran out of eggs anyway. So before we say yes, we're going to go get more eggs. 
Do they need to bring grenade eggs? I'm pretty sure they do. Or if anything, they, uh, if anything, it's nice to have like a bigger hit range. So just in case you're a little off, you can still hit it. You know, because they have that explosion to help you out. Where's the eggs? Come on. Eh. Oh, there they are. There we go. Okay, so all full. Alright, let's try this again. I will protect you from the nasty fish. I feel like, yeah, being towards the ground is easier. And I need to be, like, kind of in a corner, but also not really. I need to be about, like, here, because then I have a good aim at all corners. They, they all come through these corners, so I can see it better. All right. Oh. Come from the front? No! Aye. Okay, let me go get eggs again. doing so well too thank you I know well we'll get it I've gotten it multiple times before in my life we can do it again you just gotta find the sweet spot Is aiming really finicky in this game? It's better on Xbox than it was in N64, but it's still not the best. Here, let's try to let's try to do it from about here. Maybe this will be good. A little higher. Maybe this will be a better angle. I see it there. No, no, no! Ah! Dad gum. I was doing better before. No, I was trying to get the eggs and you stopped me! Not right now. Let me get eggs and I'll come try again. I honestly forgave Chris after I finally got the jiggy. I realized I was making things harder myself the, the way I positioned myself. Well, that's part of the thing is you don't know where to position yourself. Because I feel like I'm trying a whole bunch of different options and sometimes they almost work great, but then there's one spot you can't see. Which is why I still feel like going aerial should be better because then there's nothing being blocked, but at the same time, it's harder. So like here, let's let's maybe try this. Let's be low, but be like right above him. So there's nothing that's gonna Wait, I just saw a fish. Where is it? Here it is. 
Oh gosh, no! It doesn't look efficient, but it's actually kind of working. No! Where did it come from? Oh, it was, I was doing good. Oh, that was kind of working, but it also totally wasn't. Because I, I felt like I did not know what I was doing, but it was also working. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like for a lot of that, I just got lucky. Okay. Crispy Bacon may live up to his name for making this so difficult. <laughs> yes, I will protect you from the nasty fish. I don't want to, but I will. All right, let's go down. Okay, so near the ground still works the best. But yeah, let's hang out right about here. This seems to work best. I just really got to watch for something on the other side of the pig. I don't like how I feel like it's just come from two directions. There we go. I think one just came up from above me. Or beside me, that works too. Oh, there's one behind him. No! I didn't notice till too late! Why is there always one that gets blocked? Because I can't see him. Internet says homing tags makes these easier. I'm sure they do, but I don't have them yet. I, I guess I could come back and do it later once I get it, but. But I know I can do this. We're so close. So yeah, I don't think I can do it on the ground as much as it's nice to not have to worry about a second axis. I don't think I can do it because there's always one that hides behind him. So yeah, I think about here, right above him, is still my best bet even though it was kind of tricky to navigate. Oh, gosh. surface oh holy crap he just got that one i know oh okay that worked the best being right above him that worked the best i got all the shots i needed perhaps this thing i found earlier 
may interest you. Yes, bring me the jiggy. We did it. Oh my gosh, you punched your, you almost punched your keyboard. You're so excited. I'm about to get these pictures printed. Oh my gosh, you remember getting pictures developed? Wait, how many of y'all are young or old enough to know what that means? Or to actually have it done? Okay, because I think this one is locked. No, this one is the one that's open. That's the one that's locked over here. But I can only get... I think I go this way. Or it's just the way I came. This is the one with the octopus. Wait, no. There's two octopi. My gosh, Grace, uh, Grace, we me, uh, me. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh my gosh, Grace, thank you. Oh my gosh. Grace, thank you. Oh my gosh. Well done, Brian. Is that? Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh my gosh. There we go. For some reason, sometimes this is easier. Oh my gosh, thank you, Grace. That was amazing. I appreciate that so very much. Oh, I'm still totally out of grenades. Which I think that's the only way I can kill you guys. Yes, thank you, yes. Yes, now you get your you get your uh notification pop up now. Thank you. Oh, okay, here we go. Now is this where I can find that last move? Cause that last move is like blocking me from so much stuff. Let's check inside the ship. I think that's one I have to get with her power up. There's too many things I need with this new move. No, because that's something I need to do with her new move. Oh, here we go. Is this the way? That's not the way I came in, is it? I don't think it was. So we're gonna freeze this. Achievement unlocked Calamari Bonanza. I think this is not the same way. Oh, I can get out of that mode. Oh no. Oh, another one. Good golly molly. Oh, I'm out of ice eggs? I didn't realize that was that low. Alright, let me go get some. No. No. Okay, there we go. And... There we go. Okay, we got some. 
Dang octopus and its finicky hitbox. I know, right? It's so true. Are those Davy Jones lockers? I actually think that's what it's supposed to be. I love it. There it goes. Okay, here we go. Oh, it just leads me back here. Where is this move? It's gonna bug me. My dad wants to know what kind of bear can hold his breath underwater this long. Well, that's the thing. Uh, we had Mumbo put uh, Mumbo make the water all, you know, not uh, make it to where we can breathe under there. Let's see here. Now, I don't remember. Wait a second. Huh. I forgot where the last move was that I had to learn from jam jars. Which that's... Wait. Oh, wait, no. That was just the trick of the eyes on that. It's not in here, is it? Davy Jones holds the key to the lockers. Let's see. You swim in a temple? But the only other temple I haven't been through is locked behind me needing to know that move. So I'm trying to remember where that move is. I think that's the way we came in from, though. Yeah, I think that is. So we went through that. Oh! Is this one we can get through? Oh, we haven't gone through this yet! Okay. Missed this. Electric Eel's Lair, that's fine. God about that. Aha! Here it is! Ah, it's gonna make things so much easier. LRTO launches bird, just watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Left stick to steer and aim for speed. X to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all. Dismiss! There we go. Brian, have you ever heard of David Phelps? Heard of Michael Phelps, not David Phelps. Michael Phelps is the swimmer, right? Okay. So now I could open this. Just here. No. A little hard to control. Alright. I should just be able to go straight. Oh. Wrong button. There we go. I made that way harder than it needed to be. Logan, thank you. Did I hear that Matthew Perry? From the show Friends died. I did. It was very sad. I didn't even really watch Friends much. I'm not. I'm like one of the three people on Earth who's not a big fan of Friends. But even I'm sitting there going, "Oh, that hurt." Like even though I didn't really like the show, I still remember seeing his face all the time, going like, "Oh."
I don't remember how to get up there. I think I can do it with Kazooie by herself or something. It's like an empathetic and in empathetic hurt for those who've watched Friends. Exactly. I know that was such a beloved show, and I know that must be really hurting. And even though I wasn't a big fan of the show, I don't wish ill on anybody who worked on the show or like it. So that's super sad. Let's see here. Oh, wait. I've been playing too much Super Mario Wonder. I'm like, let me hold the dash button and go for a jump. I'll be able to hit it then. Then it's like, wait, there is no dash here. It's just, uh, it's just a Super Mario Wonder thing. What am I supposed to do in here then? Because there's a. I was assuming there's a Jiggy in here. And I know that there's the Cheeto page over there, but I don't think I can get that till I learn the glide move. I can just glide over there. I guess that was it. Heck, you Minchos in here. <laughs> and your Im imposter complex. Yep. They stink. Now, where is one of those? Okay. So, yeah, there's these, these transparent fish that you can use the torpedo thing to uh, go through them and get whatever's inside of them. But I don't think there's anything in there that I need at the moment for that one. There's one over by the lockers that has a honeycomb in it that I want. I can't figure out how to get the Cheeto page too. I know how to do it, I just can't do it right now. There's a, learn, there's a move you learn later in the game called Glide and you can use that to just glide over there. Oh. A Kalobo. Don't mind if I do. Do o, Globo. Oh, that one's a Jiggy. I think I gotta get a little more distance. a little bit. Got it. Woo! I don't know how I got that. In all good measure, I should not have gotten that, but I don't care. I got it. You have Globo? Want to give to Humba? Yes, I do. Sure, I'll just throw it in. Gosh, the aiming in this game. Magic ready, jump in Wumba Pool. It's not, yeah, the aiming's not the best, but you get used to it. Or at least I do because I love the game so much. I will make myself get better at it. Humba called this submarine. He's less stick for speed. Sonic ping and torpedo. Okay. It's like it's been a while. But yeah, okay. E. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's how we get our torpedoes. 
Sonic Pain. Okay. I see this green thing. Is there another thing we can get through? All right, well, let's go down here. I don't know what we need this submarine for. It's that. I thought there was one of these things that had a door closed that I could only open with the submarine, maybe? Or maybe I dreamt this. I forget what I'm supposed to do with it. Ah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't go anywhere where the octopus are kind of doing that. Unless I can shoot it with the missile. I don't remember if I can do that or not. I don't remember ever trying. Nope. That's not gonna work. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's go up here. Maybe it's in here and I don't remember. Oh. Not this one. Oh, go to Davy Jones' locker and you'll be able to access a point you couldn't before because the pressure was too high. Use the warps. Oh! Oh, I thought I was on the pad. Oh, wait! Is that a hole? Ah! Got me a honeycomb! Oh, I'm definitely not on it. I thought I was. All right, here we go. Hey, pretty. There we go. Let's go to... I think it was by Big Fish Cavern is near where we want to go for Davy Jones Locker. Because I think that I was supposed to unlock a thing in there and I didn't. But the I thought there was an entryway in here to Davy Jones Locker. Yeah, I think it's this way. Okay. We're just going to go through it and just take the hits we get. We made it like halfway through. No. Don't spin me around towards it. Okay, this isn't going to work. So I might need to turn into Banjong Kazooie again and go get a warp pad to Davy Jones' locker. Or maybe can my sonar do anything to it? Let's try the. I tried a missile and that didn't do anything. But let's try the Sonic. Oh, that worked! Oh, okay, come on. Uh-oh. Okay. This is a pain to get through as a submarine. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. There we go. Honeycombs, much needed. Oh, maybe not. I missed that one. Okay. How you doing? Okay, here we go. Okay. I 
think I saw it. Yeah, this one's all rusted. There we go. Oh, wait. Warp pad. Make my life easier. Okay. Davy Jones' locker. Oh, no! Hey, Banjo, I can see a jiggy down there. Let's take a look. I didn't mean to do this. Lord Wu Fock Fock. <laughs> Hotels intrude on Lord Wu Fog Fog while he sleeps in his appallingly cramped locker. Oh, er, we've come. We've just brought some mail for you, Lord uh, Fog. Don't lie to me. You are going to steal my jiggy and drain my home, leaving me to flap pathetically around on the bottom until I shriveled up and died, weren't you? Not something like that! Then I then a watery grave awaits you. What? Oh wow, we got two Johans at the same time. Well, I guess that means Johan's gonna come out for a double time as soon as we start a boss fight. I know he's gonna love that. Johan. Hello everyone, it is Johan, yeah? Hang on one second. One second! Yes, hang on. Here we go. Time for fun with Johan! Time for fun with Johan! Yeah, 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 yeah! Time for fun with Johan! Okay! Let me set the timer. For two. Okay. Now let's see. Where did Brian leave off? Ah, he's in a boss battle! Of course he's in a boss battle. I think I need you to turn around. I think Brian told us just me and Bo just in case something happened. And we had to do the boss battle. And I'm pretty sure it's there. He said there would be something obvious on the body that you have to shoot. He didn't tell us it was that gross though. Nope. Go this way. Yeah. Okay, okay. Got Ay, me precious boils. Oh, that's gross. They're boils. I thought they were warts. I don't know how warts is much better, though. Now that I say that out loud. Got it! Where's the next one? Is it down his other side? Oh, there it is. On the booty. Uh oh. If, uh, if fishes had booties, they're more like tails. There we go. Got that one. Um, none of these are lighting up, so I guess it's the other boil on this side. Now stop turning towards me! Go like the other way! Got it! Here we go! Okay, that got me.
Luckily, we don't run out of torpedoes. <laughs> Got it! Only one left. Let's try it there. Can we get it? Got it! We did it! Oh, have you not sympathy? Hitting a poor blind fish? Time I opened my eyes to see what I'm doing! Uh oh. I have to hit the man again! Not the thing said six! Now it's the six again! Ah! Now where do I hit him? His eyes? Oh, it is the eyes. Oh, please, not my eyes. Okay, it is the eyes. Okay. Uh oh. This is not good. Nope, 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 not good at all. I hit it! Yes! I can see! I can fight! I know that reference! That's... that's a... Uh, fairly odd pair! It's, it's a funny one! Uh-oh! One more! We'll get that this way! Did it! Yes! Ah! Okay. Cassie's things seem to have gone belly up! 100 years of oceanic tyranny brought to an undignified end! Yes, we got a jiggy! Down goes the fish. Well, really goes up, cause belly up. Ah! See what I did there? Oh, that was funny, huh? Where's the jiggy? Jiggy! You fell down here? Ah, there you are. Hey, 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 come back. Hey, hey, there we go. Okay, come back. There we go. Oh, a perfect timing. Johan beats the boss. Yay! Johan's actually not too bad at this boss stuff. I wonder why it always freaks me out. Okay, let me go get Brian now. Brian! <clears throat> well, I'm surprised Johan did really well. And right on time. Looks like we are right at the 5 o'clock hour. How many did we get in here? We got, okay, we got five Jiggies. And, oh gosh, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think about, like, how what we need to do next stream. Um, because, yes, we didn't find all the Jiggies here. But I really want to do Pterodactyl Land next, next time. You know what? We're, we're probably going to do it. We're probably going to do uh, Terry Dactyl Land next time just because I want to go out of order. Even though we didn't finish all the jiggies here, we'll come back and get them all. Because I remember, like, I know there's the... Yeah, most of the ones we couldn't do before because of the, uh, the move with Kazooie. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll try to see how quickly we can get the last few ones in here. And then, um... We'll go to Pterodactyl Land after that. But my plan is... I know I can't get all of them. Um, yeah. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it on Wednesday. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget... To, oh, it's not a video. It's a live stream. Brian. <laughs> 
Uh, letting y'all know this should be a normal week this week and next week should be a normal week as well. I can't think of anything that would make that any different. Um, double check in my calendar, but I'm pretty sure there is um, nothing that should stop me the next couple weeks. No. Nope. Yeah, so for the next two weeks should be normal. And then, um, yeah, next two weeks will be normal streaming time. Then the week after that, I am off for Thanksgiving. But yeah, that's, uh, that's good. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Have a marvelous Monday, a terrific Tuesday, and a wonderful Wednesday until I see you on Wednesday. All right. Bye.